and welcome to Coon Rapids High School for CTM live coverage of the girls' high school season opener as the Cardinals host the Blue Jackets from Cambridge Isanti. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro courtside for the game and Howie uh, section rivals. Uh, the Blue Jackets ended the Cardinals season last year, but this is the start of a whole new campaign. And it's a whole different team for Coon Rapids. You're going to see it tonight. They lost two of their three bigs. They have one returning who was probably their best big from last year, and they have a whole lot of guards. Well, and on the flip side, the, the Blue Jackets did get their season started already. A two-point loss at the hands of Spring Lake Park, and they are led by an outstanding guard. Michaela Armour had more than half of the offense in game one. She had 34, 35 points of the 60 in that loss. She also dropped 40 on the Cardinals in that section loss. To, uh, to Cambridge last year. So she's an opera, she's really a good player. She's their Swiss Army knife. She does everything. She distributes the ball well. She scores. She plays defense well. The Cardinals are going to have their hands full with her tonight. Well, and on, on the visiting sidelines, they have three six-footers. So a luxury the Cardinals had all of last season. And as you mentioned, two have moved on. Arguably their best, Jenny Tomway, back for her senior campaign. She averaged over 16 points a game last year to lead the team, and now she's really the only returning varsity player. Yeah, we'll see what Cambridge does with her in terms of defense, because I think they'll probably try and collapse a couple players around her, let other players beat them. But yeah, she's averaging over 16 points a year ago, had 15 points in that loss to Cambridge in the section semifinals last year. So she is definitely the leader for this Cardinal squad, and if they're gonna be successful, she's gonna have to be successful as well. Well, and she has the opportunity to join an elite group of 1,000 point scorers for this girls basketball program. She has to average about nine points a game through the season. She's hoping she can get there a little bit faster, reach that milestone by mid season. And that, that uh, journey starts tonight. We're gonna tip it off between the Cardinals and the Blue Jackets next on CTN. at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, just re about ready to get this game and this season underway for the Cardinals girls basketball program. Boys basketball team opening its season on Friday on the road against Forest Lake. We'll be here next week when they host St. Paul Highland for their home opener. Harding. 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 Sorry. Yep. And, th and for this, its season, this that is season opener. This is going to be a test for the girls here tonight. There's no question about it. This was a 15 and five team a year ago, and they're returning some players that uh, key minutes played for them last season. Tomway wins the tip, and the Cardinals will have the first opportunity on offense. Chloe Christie on the left side, up top, Casey Beck. Her pass tipped away by Armour. Armour with the steal, trying to work her way around Washburn. That pass right through the hands of Ayanna Knight. And out on the far side, a turnover back to the Cardinals. You know, one of the things that Coach Lito talked to me about last game is that they turned the ball over and committed too many fouls, and that's something they're going to work on here this evening against so, Coon Rapids. Christie gets it into the post for Tomway, fakes one way, goes back the other, and gets the first points of the game for the Cardinals. Yeah, and that's the strength of Coon Rapids you saw underneath with Jenny and uh, Tomway. And, and she's, uh, she does, does a nice move to create some space for herself. Open look from the corner for Mc, uh, Mariah Wiltrout, her three-pointer off the mark. Cardinals with the rebound. Full court pressure. Cardinals able to break it, get it up court for Chloe Christie, and she'll reset the offense near midcourt. Delena Washburn driving, ran into a wall by the name of Troy Vavra. A turnover and back the other way come the Blue Jackets. The left-handed scoop by Knight 
evens the score at two. Knight did a nice job of, job of driving the lane and cutting in between two defenders to get that bucket. Cardinals out of bounds right in front of the Cambridge Isani bench. Turn it over. There's head coach Jody Liedahl. Been coaching the, uh, the Blue Jackets for quite a while. Armour setting the offense. Working against Camille Washburn. Hands it off to Knight. They swing it around near side. Driving is Evelyn Wiltrout. Her shot is off the mark. The rebound tipped right back to her. And a double dribble. We'll turn it over back to the Cardinals. Uh, I mean, the, this game starting out well for Quinn Rapids. As you see the Blue Jackets missing some shots early, turning the ball over a couple of times, a couple of trips down court already. Delana Washburn ahead. Donway gets it back to Christie, and then a travel by Beck turns it back over. Yeah, Beck's Yeah, how take. often are we going to see it, the two starting lineups featuring two sets of twins? Yeah, it's just... It's, it's very uh, very interesting, for sure. Camille and Delana Washburn for the Cardinals, yep. and Evelyn and Mariah Wiltrout for Cambridge Guy Sandy Armour from way downtown. Yeah, she made that look easy. Gives the Blue Jackets the 5-2 lead. Jumping in the passing lane there was Evelyn Wiltrout. Gets a turnover. The Blue Jackets will set up on offense. Omer puts it on the floor. Her jump shot won't fall. Tomboy with the rebound. Omer pressuring from behind. Tomboy on the drive. Draws the foul from Knight, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. I, I like the thought by Jenny. Again, you drive the basket. You get an opportunity to get a shot off. If you make it, great, but you pick up the foul, and you get an opportunity from the line. First one is off the mark. Tombley able to hit the second. It's a two point game. Armour left side for Evelyn Wiltrout. Gets it back. Trying to drive on the right side. Kicks it out to Mariah Wiltrout. She's double teamed. Able to get through it and get it out tonight for a three point. That's off the mark. Rebound by Delana Washburn. Gets it ahead to Christie. Chloe Christie across midcourt. Delana Washburn watched closely by Knight. Hands it off. Casey back with a lane to get inside. Stops up outside to Tomboy hits the three-pointer. Now Jenny's game just isn't in on the inside. She has a nice shot from beyond the arc. The perimeter game is good. And she has all six points for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals up six to five. Almer answers with a second three-pointer at the other end. And that full court pressure, a little too aggressive. Evelyn Wiltrout called for the foul in the backcourt. Carolyn Brunell and Alex Schmidt into the game for Coon Rapids. Delana Washburn trying to get away from Omer. Good look underneath. And putting it home is Casey. There is uh, Alex Schmidt. Yeah, really nice look from Washburn to find her underneath. And that's a great Omer wants another three, and she got it. She's feeling it. Nine points already. Tomboy high on the left side. Cross court to Chloe Christie. Into the corner for Schmidt. Her pass taken away. Omer on the break. And she draws the foul. Tomboy going to make her earn the points from the line. And Jenny did a nice job of catching up. It looked like she was going to get that easy layup. And Jenny made sure that she wasn't going to get it. 
Already 10 points for Amber. She will attend the uh, University of North Dakota next season. Second one won't fall. Rebound tip to Camille Washburn. Cross to Delena. Needs help. Finds Tomboy. Slashing to the lane, and she's able to put it home. Tomboy did a nice job, again, just controlling that basketball and getting the shot off. Big block for Tomboy at the other end, and she denied Mariah Wiltrout. They get it back to Amma with an open look for three. She's got another one. Wow, she's automatic. We averaged a little over 22 points a game last season. We talked about 35 in the opening loss to Spring Lake Park. 40 against Green Rapids last year in the, in the uh, section. Looking for Schmidt along the baseline, and the pass was a little behind her, and I don't think she was looking for it. And Green Rapids turns it over. Casey back will check back in. Tom Way to the bench. She's got eight of the Cardinals' 10 points. Yep. A great start for her, but uh, yeah, Michaela Armour. A, a very impressive 13 in you know, five, five minutes. Yeah, five minutes is right. Here she is driving baseline left side, floating jump shot won't go. The rebound hat was taken by Brownell initially, but Pried away from her, and they reset. Armour wants three more, oh. and she's got him. Wow, just unconscious. Washburn kicks it out. Schmidt, a three-pointer that won't go. Brownell went up and got that rebound. Find Schmidt down low. Brownell in the corner. Her pass snagged away by... Jerdy, Jerdy, back to the other end, and she slipped, and that'll be a travel. Well, the Cardinals are going to try and take advantage of these turnovers if they can. Tomway back on the floor after a very brief rest. It's an eight-point lead now for the Blue Jackets. Pass went right through the hands of Camille Washburn. Quickly to the other end come the Blue Jackets. Oh, I thought she walked. She thought she walked. She looked over to her coach and kind of rolled her eyes like, how did I get away with that? She called a foul against yeah. Elena Washburn. Looked like a pretty good rip. Yeah. Referee saw the foul. Armour wants three more. This one way off the mark. Back able to save it. Tomboy running the floor. We'll slow it down. Coming out to guard is Evelyn Wiltrout. Knocks it out of bounds. But it'll be Coon Rapids ball. Back able to split a couple of defenders. Good drive for the basket, and she has to. Yeah, and that, that's a player that the Cardinals are going to try and rely on a little bit more as, as well because she has some size underneath, and she's just really nice offensive move for her to get a bucket. The Chameleon. The Chameleon. As we named her yes, last year. the Chameleon. Her brother Alex back yep. to the Lizard. Yep. And the Cardinals hope she can be a chameleon for them and fill a lot of different roles this season, as you mentioned. You know, they'll need her too. Uh, they need her. They need her as a as a 
big presence underneath, yep. but you saw the ball handling there, hoping that, uh, you know, listed as a guard. So hoping that she can uh, fill some guard well, you spots know, as well. Teams they also list her at 5'9". I, I think she's better than 5'9". I think so as well. But, you know, teams are going to obviously take uh, Tomboy away and that she's going to need to step up in those instances. Pass deflected, a scramble on the floor, tied up. Possession arrow will favor Cambridge Isani. Haley Jurdy gives it back to Knight, gets it back from her now. Jurdy working against Washburn. Knight from the corner has three. Again, the nice ball rotation working around the perimeter. Knight again is all alone. She's able to drop it. She's got five. The other 16 all scored by number one. Washburn is stripped by Mariah Wiltrout. She'll run the floor. Delano Washburn got back to knock the pass away yeah. as she tried to feed Ellie Davis at the back door. Great hustle. You we'll see her just get into that, that opportunity to try and get the ball away, but at least make them work for that next opportunity. The Cardinals will take a timeout. Cambridge is building that lead 21 to 12 here with 9.46 remaining in this opening half. Good opportunity for Coach Wico to talk to his girls and get them get them on track. Well, since it was 12-11, you know, three three-pointers have really helped. Yeah. Cambridge Isani open the lead up, but they've got six three-pointers already. We're not even midway through the first half. And here's Amr looking for three more. That one off the top of the backboard. The rebound by Mariah Wiltrout. Kicked it back out. The pass deflected away by Delana Washburn out of bounds. You see him trying to work the ball underneath. Amr watched by Camille Washburn gets some room, draws a foul, will go to the line to get two. And she does a nice job of just trying to make things happen. Again, she drives the wing a little bit, gets her shot off, but not able to make it fall, but she's gonna try and get her two points for the strike. So she just drives to the basket, stop, and then a pop, not able to get the drop. Trying to put the Blue Jackets up by 10. And she does. 17. 18. 18, sorry. Yeah. Of the, no, she's got 17. Or yeah, yeah 23. Yeah. Uh, 17. And make it, make it 20 points already. Already. It's amazing. And you think, oh, this is stop number one. But and there she comes up with yeah. a steal. She had five of those in that opener as well. And she's got two more. Wow. You know, and we talked about it in the open. She's the Swiss Army Knight for this team. She does it all. You saw great defense there. Offense is uh, unquestioned. Yeah, we're now halfway through the first half. And she has 22 points. She's on pace to score 88. I don't know that she'll score 88. But uh, she's definitely on pace. Uh, the turnover on the Cardinals. I thought uh, I thought Jurdy might have gotten a hand on it, but Beck, Beck may have also gotten a piece of it as it went by. And another turnover. Well, the Cardinals certainly hope they can limit her to a little less than 88. Yeah. But I will say, from this seat, it would be kind of cool to see someone score that, even if it was on the visiting seat. Oh, absolutely. Seat. Knight. Looking for three, that's way off the mark. 
Rebound taken by Camille Washburn, or Delana rather. Kicks it out, three-pointer off the mark for Carolyn Brownell. And back the other way comes Knight. Knight with a nice box out. And that pass went right through the hands of Jurdy, and a turnover back to the Cardinals. And again, good anticipation. Jerdy gets the steal at the other end, lays it in with the left hand. Yeah, easy bucket there. Just mishandled there. Another turnover and the Cardinals have to settle the settle the emotions and not allow their, themselves to get frustrated as they see the lead continuing to grow. Armor gets a pick. Traveled before yeah. taking the jump shot. I know you're hoping for that 88. Well, not necessarily. No, I'm just, but you, I'm I, just kidding. I'm just saying, you know, it, to see something like that, obviously, but it's she's not scoring. She's not scoring 88, but she's going to score a lot. Tomboy in the middle. That one rims out. Gets her own rebound in the middle of a trio of Blue Jackets. She gets the foul. That'll be number four against Cambridge Jaisani. And again, you stay you stay under control and you make something happen underneath the basket. Jenny does a good job of, of not giving the ball up, not, not turning it over, and then gets that foul and an opportunity for her team to keep the basketball. Cardinals having trouble getting the ball in, and it inbound was tipped out of, tipped away out of bounds. Cardinals will keep it. Casey's back will check in. Tomboy will get another breather. Inbound goes to Casey Beck. Sets the offense from high on the right side. Hands it off to Camille Washburn. Back to Beck on the right side. Beck looking for room. Working her way. Spins to her left. The shot rolls around and down. For two. Well, again, we talked about, uh, uh, about the Chameleon and the, the, what she can bring to this team and the, the effort that they're looking for her this season from her. Armour drives another foul, goes back to the free throw line. Yeah, that time again, trying to drive the lane, get an opportunity for the, for the layup. And Tarsus are gonna make her earn it from the stripe. Yeah, when we talk to Coach Wico for the previews earlier, uh, well, last week, uh, he uh, he said, we know they have a really good guard. She's going to get her points. We've got to do our best to limit yep. hers, but and just make sure that you know nobody else is able to beat us. Amr drops two for two, up to 24 points in the game. Back, back to Delano Washburn. She finds a hole and she scores. Yeah, again, she did a nice move. She looked like she was maybe going to distribute the ball to the wing. Defense backed off her. She did a nice job of making it to the, to the glass. And the Blue Jackets turn it over. 6.40 to go here in the first half. Armour comes on the full court. Get it through to Brownell. Back, thought about the three, moves, takes it. Shot won't fall. The rebound by Mariah Wiltrell. Armour working against Camille Washburn. Backs up. Left side for Emily Cox. Mariah Wiltrell will take the three, and she hits it. Again, they give her the space and she uh, she takes it from outside. Six 
seven three-pointers for the Blue Jackets. Foul's gonna be called against Haley Jurdy. Inbound goes to Camille Washburn. Washed closely by Armour. Double team comes, gets it to Chloe Christie. That pass deflected, but got through to Brownell. She'll drive too hard off the backboard. Rebound tipped right back to her. Brownell trying to get it to Christie. Scramble for the ball in the corner. They go underneath. And Schmidt is fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, Schmidt did a nice job of getting the ball quickly and underneath the basket. Well, they kind of lost her. They brought so much pressure yeah, on the ball. At three, and at one you time. see nobody watching the underneath. The number comes in late, gets the foul. Her first. Team sixth. First one for Alex Schmidt rattles around and out. Second one clanks off the back iron. Babra tracks down the rebound, and Amr will bring him into the offensive end. Jurdy hands it off. Amr for three. That one's short. The rebound by Babra. She's she traveled. She thought she was fouled. And what? No, this, the, the official closest to us called the travel. Yeah. He calls a travel. They call a foul. They're all lined up. They okay. got it straightened out. That, it is called the travel. Yep. Christie into the front court. Working against Knight, find some room. 17 footer is good. Yeah, nice job. Nice, nice authority. Kick that shot, dropped it. Knight at the other end. Gets it down low. Vavra working against Tomway. Gets it up top. Hand it off now for Knight. Left side, Jurdy a long three. That one's good. Other end, Tomboy draws the foul, will go to the line. You know, Jenny's got that quickness through the lane. Was able to get past the defense, couldn't get the shot to fall, but. Well, she's a really nice player. Yeah, We've been talking really about her since her freshman year when she started playing varsity. And, uh, you know, she's one of the captains. Uh, very easy to talk to, yep. a really good interview. Great, just loves being around the game. You could tell it. it big smile on her face as she talked about uh, being back in the gym and you know without the COVID restrictions and the mask and uh, she is uh, she has been a fun player to watch and look forward to watching her the rest of, of this season. She now has nine points in the game. It says seven on the board but she's actually got nine. Underneath bucket and the foul for Mariah Wiltrow. Well, and again, you saw the, 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 her distribute the basketball is what she does well. You have to be so concerned about her scoring ability, so the defense steps up, and then she's got Wiltrout underneath alone, and she uh, makes the nice pass, bounce pass, and gets the bucket an opportunity for a three-point play. Foul called against Casey Beck, her first. And she completes the three-point play. It's a 21-point lead with 418 to go. Able to beat the full court press. Good passing, but yep. the pass underneath off the fingertips of Schmidt and on the bounds, a turnover back to Cambridge Isani. Yeah, definitely like the thought of that play and she's able to get underneath, just couldn't handle the pass. All right, will try one as another three, it won't go. Knight had the rebound, but take it away by the Cardinals. Here comes Jenny Tomboy at the other end. 
And the shot won't fall. Back come the Blue Jackets with numbers. Vanbro behind the defense, scores. Knight going to be called for the foul. That'll be number seven, and it'll be a one and one. Washburn hits the first, earns the second. And she hits them both. And that's something, you know, we especially in a game like this where they, they've seen very few free throw opportunities. But uh, we talk about it, especially in closer games. Another three-pointer for the Blue Jackets. It's Jurdy from the corner. But uh, free throw shooting, so crucial. Oh, great defense. Amer steps Amer. up and forces the turnover. In the game for Cardinals number two, Sophia Smith. Sophia Smith into the game for the first time tonight for Coon Rapids. Smith just a sophomore. A lot of youth on this team, yeah. and they're gonna they're gonna look to get a lot of those younger players in. Good defense there from Camille Washburn trying to get rid of it. Delana there to help her out, gets it across midcourt, runs into some traffic, spins away from it, gets it ahead to Tomboy, spins to the paint and scores. Yeah, she's so good. Just got an update from Neil Highlights Hennon. No score after a period where the Bluebirds uh, are taking on OPC, Osseo Park Center over yeah. at Crick. Osseo Park Center uh, you know, took Blaine to overtime yeah. earlier in the season. So that's uh, maybe a team trying to be a contender this year. But uh, oh, the, the, the Bluebirds definitely need some wins. They, yeah, they you know, do. A one and three start. Not too bad considering two of the three losses to teams in the state's top 10, but. And the third to Blaine, who was a very quality club. Yeah, and that was a close game as very well. Very close game. Well, and they took the 10th ranked Cougars to, to overtime. Yep. Another Good. foul in the paint will put Camille Washburn back at the free throw line with 219 to go in the first half. Coach Gutterman is putting it together for the CPCR squad. Washburn hits the first, earns the second. And again, we go back to that uh, importance of free throws. Nice to see Camille getting a good start. The Washburn sisters also uh, captains this season. Right. They were bench players last year, did not get a lot of varsity time. They probably averaged, you know, less than, less than three minutes a game. But uh, good hustle and... Scrappy. Good leaders, and they, they force the, the tie up there, and that'll make it Coon Rapids ball after Camille hit one of two. Well, Camille did a nice job of just tying that up. Throw it up top for Schmidt. Pass taken away by Armour. Armour had her pocket picked by Camille. Racing back to get on defense. Back in the game, the Cardinals number 34, Jenny Tomway. Ellie Davis inbounds and 
Mariah Wiltrout quickly puts it up and in. Yeah, just a breakdown in the defense for the Cardinals there. That Wiltrout alone underneath the basket for the easy bucket. Another turnover by the Cardinals. And it all comes down to that pressure defense from Cambridge Isani forcing the Cardinals to make mistakes. Will Trout gets it into Amer. Amer double teamed and draws a foul okay. as she's pushed in the corner. Tom Boy, they're going to call. Yeah. That will be her second. Team sixth. Tomboy will come out. Schmidt will replace her. Amr, long three-pointer is good. Wow. She's been impressive. She's got 27. No She's really good. There's a travel by the Cardinals. Another turnover for Coon Rapids. Coach Leadall has to be pretty happy so far with uh, the 50 points that his team has put up in this first half. Because they still have a minute 36 remaining. I have to recount. But here's Amer for three again. This one in and out. Rebound tracked down by Christie as it just got out of the reach of Ellie Davis, who was in good position. Into the corner, that three pointer well off the mark for Smith, but she's able to follow up and then force a tie up with Jerdy. Possession arrow favors the Blue Jackets. Yeah, I would imagine that uh, Coach Leadog is. Amr the green light anytime she feels she has well, the opportunity. And, and she's not the only one hitting no. from behind the arc, but. No, but, but look have, at the difference. Uh, they have what, eight, eight, nine three pointers yep. in this first half? It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Here's Jerdy. She wants three more from way downtown again. She missed everything, and that's a turnover to the Cardinals as we're just under a minute remaining in the first half. Try to pass through the press. Reese Wilking stepped up a little late and is going to be called for the foul. Foul is called for the Jackets for number 10, Reese Wilking. For first person, 10th team foul. And this will be a two shot foul now for Chloe Christie. Missed them both, and a good rebound by Mariah Wiltrout. Hands it off for Jerdy into the front court. Pass deflected, but got through to Amer into the corner. Now for Wilking, back up top for Amer. Worked the perimeter, and Wiltrout lost it out of bounds. Yeah, that pass a little close to the sideline. Just couldn't uh, control it. Brownell checks back in. Christie to Smith, back to Christie into the front court. To Casey Beck from 16, that's just a little short. Will Trout has the rebound along the baseline, played it off of Beck out of bounds. Amer working against, she traveled. Yeah. Try to take that extra step. Looking for a little clarification from one of our officials. Schmidt kicks it out, back for three, it's good. Love to see him hit that three at the end of this half. Trailing by 23. 
Half court oh. for Amher nearly went, but the Blue Jackets will go to the locker room with a hefty lead at 50-27. And uh, you know, some good things, especially early in that first half for the Cardinals. Um, you know, kept it close, but uh, you know, you got to find a way to to guard the perimeter. And uh, Amher is Amher is is pretty impressive. Yeah, he is. So we are joined now by head coach Tom Wico of the Coon Rapids Cardinals. And, and coach, you knew that uh, Michaela Amer was, was going to be a lot to handle. What, what do you do differently to try and, and limit her a little more in that second half? Um, <laughs> the good question. Um, I don't know what you can do. I mean, other than, than uh, try to wear the same uniform that she's wearing. <laughs> Coach, let's talk about the positives. What, what did you see that you liked from your squad in that first half? Well, I think once once we uh, were able to break their little half-court trap, then uh, I think we did a good job of, of attacking, and uh, we hit some shots um, off of that. So that's that's good. we got to do a little better job at, of executing on offense, so. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck the rest of the way. We'll take a break. We'll be back with first half highlights after this. You're watching CTN's live coverage of girls high school basketball. Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. It was close for the first few minutes. The Cardinals sticking right with them, but eventually the three-pointers are going to wear anybody down. Amher's first was from about five feet behind the arc, and she was just getting started. Jenny Tomboy answering. She's had a nice start to her senior season, and there's another one, again, well outside the arc for Amer, she's lit it up all, all game long, and she's not the only one. They've gotten three-pointers from a couple of other players. Jerdy's hit a couple. Uh, Will Trout hit one. There's Knight hitting a three-pointer from the corner. I think they ended up with eight three-pointers in that first half. That's uh, that almost equaling the Cardinals' entire output just from beyond the arc. But uh, they've, they've uh, opened it up nicely and the Cardinals getting the two three-pointers in that first half and it's both from from their players that you'd expect to be down in the paint. Yeah. Tomboy and Beck. And you know I like I like the uh, the contribution from Beck. We talked about her that uh, you know can't be it can't be Jenny the entire game. Obviously you need others to step up and she has seven points in that first half and I think she's done a nice job to contribute on both ends of the court. So I mean they're going to need her to continue to play well down the stretch as this entire year unfolds. Yeah, and as we talked about with Coach Wico, I mean, how do you stop uh, Michaela Amer? You can't. Um, he, and, and he had talked about that during the preview interview last week. You, we know that she's going to get her points. Right. We just have to do our best to slow her down and, and then limit everyone else. Uh, and she has just done a great job tonight of not only getting her points by the bunches, but also 
uh, helping out her teammates, and, and their defense has, has been impressive as well. But uh, still another half to play. It's Cambridge Isani 50, Coon Rapids 27 at the half. We'll take a break and be back with more from Roger e. Carlson after this. Did you know you can raise backyard chickens? But a permit is required, and there's a limit of four female chickens per property. No roosters or other fowl are allowed. And there are specific rules for the chicken coop and run. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to coonrabbitsmn.gov. Back at Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. Blue Jackets a 50-27 lead at the half. We're joined now by Cambridge Isani head coach Jody Leadall. And coach, I got to feel pretty good about that first half effort, but I, I have to imagine having number one on your team makes coaching a lot easier. It does. Uh, uh, she's a one-of-a-kind player, so yep. Um, very relaxing when the ball is in her hands, yes. Coach, we talked about some things, keys for you guys tonight. You said in that first game against Spring Lake Park, you wanted to cut down A on your turnovers and B on your on your fouls. I know uh, you turnovers a couple early on, not too bad in that first half, but probably more fouls than you would like your team to commit. Yep, we had a couple kids sitting uh, long stretches because of fouls, so yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we're turning them over in the in more of the full court, but when we, when we get in the half court, we got to be able to grind it out without fouling. And what do you look to do to, to kind of finish it off? Uh, we need to execute offensively. Uh, shots are going, but, uh, uh, you know, as the season goes along, you have to learn to, to grind possessions out, both offense and defensively. So that's kind of what we talked about in, at, at half. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, thanks. Well, that young, that young lady, is uh, she has a reason to dance at 27 points in that first half. That yeah, she, she's, she's, ce she's celebrating that first half, but she's not done. As for Coach talked about, yeah, one of a kind. She's, she's special to watch, yep. no doubt. Uh, you know, anytime uh, someone puts up 27 points uh, in a half, and, uh, you know, she really kind of took the foot off the gas a little bit in the, in the second half of the first half and distributed the ball. They got a little more scoring from... Uh, the rest of the squad because she had uh, through the first nine minutes she had 22 points and I, I think they were I, I think the the rest of the team had had added maybe uh, you know at, at that point the the rest of the team had maybe five points um, and then uh, the rest of the team chipped in a little bit more down the rest of the way uh, you know, Jerdy hit a couple of three-pointers. Mariah Wiltrout hit a three-pointer. We saw uh, we saw Ayana Knight hit a three-pointer earlier in the contest. So, uh, yeah, the three-pointers, and that, that makes it a little bit easier, too. And there's Knight jumping into the passing lane, nearly getting a steal, but comes back to Chloe Christie, and the Cardinals get to reset on offense. Christie on the baseline needs some help, trapped there by Knight and the tie up forces the turnover and that's uh, that's something that Coach Wico has got to be a little concerned about is, is the number of turnovers and how many times uh, you're seeing the, the team just all, not all on the same page offensively Amr shot off the mark. Will Trout right there to put it back home. Yeah, a rare miss that of uh, that type from Amr's that uh, she didn't hit much more of that shot that she wanted to. But when you've got that big player underneath, un unguarded, easy putback for her. Christie in the corner gets it underneath. Tomboy working against Will Trout comes up a bit short. Will Trout with the rebound will hand it off to Amr. Amr lost it off her foot, able to recover. Working against Camille Washburn, gets into the front court. Kicks it out, Knight finds room, takes the three and hits it. Yeah, she stepped back and dropped it. And again, defense not coming out to cover and she's uh, she's able to get the three. 55-27 in favor of the Blue Jackets here to start this second half. Knight tips it away, Armour tracks it down quickly underneath. And Evelyn Wiltrop puts it home. 30 point lead. Will 
Mariah Wiltrop got into the passing lane, knocked it away in front of Casey Beck. Chloe Christie cutting to the lane, and she's going to draw the foul. And Will Trout thought she got a pretty clean block. Oh, give a big shout out to former coach uh, Deb Peterson. I know we'll be watching the broadcast, not live, because her squad has a game this evening, but I know that both she and Ellie Carver, who coaches with Deb, will be watching that game, so we certainly give them a big shout out. Christie's free throw is short. Christie, just a sophomore as well, getting a lot of playing time, obviously, so far tonight. Misses both. Vavra the rebound for Cambridge Isani. Almer into the front court, shapes, bakes, drives, and comes up short. Well, she lost the handle a little bit towards the end and not able to put the clean shot up she wanted. Christie pulls up and knocks Christy down the jumper. That's yeah, a good looking jumper. That pass out of the reach of Vavram. Back that. on the run, back the other way. I think Christie hurt herself on that, uh, that jump set. She's uh, grimacing a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I don't know when that when that occurred in this game, but she definitely is uh, a little bit of discomfort. Delana Washburn working right side gets it to Camille up top. Switches, tried to get it underneath to Tomboy. It's knocked away out of bounds. Yeah, and she's gonna she's gonna come out. She's gonna come out again. Just you can see her grimacing. I don't know if it's her hip. Tomboy in the post, gets underneath. Shot comes up empty. Evelyn Wiltrout to rebound quickly in transition. The Blue Jackets, Knight had it stripped away as she went to the lane. A couple of Blue Jackets tripping over each other in the backcourt. Three pointer is no good. Foul is called. Oh, and it was a two. They're saying that her foot was on the line, but they call Tomboy for the foul underneath. Oh, on yeah, you can see the elbow. That's number three on yeah. Tomboy. That's that hurts. a concern. Yep. She's got to come out. First spell. Armour underneath, Fabra all alone scores back to a 30 point lead. And, and again, just a great job distributing the basketball by Armour, Armour, Armour. She's, that was over and back. Timeout for Rapids early in this second half is the Blue Jackets have picked up right where they left off and just stretched that lead. Shooting. Raining threes. Makes a big difference. Armour, of course, got it started. She had the first five three-pointers for the team. But she's not the only one. No. Ten three-pointers. They had nine in the first half. That's pretty good. So yeah, they equaled the Cardinals' entire output just with their three-pointers in the first half. And then Knight, another three-pointer here in the second. Well, you know, we heard from obviously both coaches, but Coach Lidal said, you know, when, when you have number one on your team, it's it's fun to watch, and I'm sure he watches quite a bit of it because it's just, she's so smooth, so fluid. And like you said, it's so you can relax a little bit yep. when she's got the ball in her hands because good things happen. And uh, she is, one fan. Red is in the house. 
definitely fun to watch. And, and not only when she's scoring, but like you said, that was a great look to Vavra for that yep. last two points. And, you know, she's conscious enough to, to know when she's drawn pressure away from teammates. And that's makes her incredibly dangerous. Knight. She thought about it. Well, I mean, there was no one in the neighborhood. From the free throw line, Almer hits the jump shot. And another steal for the Blue Jackets. Almer underneath. Mariah Will Trout puts it up and in easily. And again, just a, just a, again, defense has to be so concerned with her. Just a nice little bound, bounce path to Will Trout for the easy basket. Another turnover. Evelyn Wiltrout, nice little bounce pass. Armour puts it over the iron. Evelyn Wiltrout comes back, nearly gets the steal. A scramble on the floor. Two Cardinals battling each other for it. Knight joined the fray and ties it up, but Coon Rapids will get the possession. Tomboy back in as the lead stands at 34 points. And the Blue Jackets threatening to, to force running time early in this second half. Washburn's pass batted away. Knight, good scramble for it, gets possession. Almer will pull up and hit the jump shot. Evelyn Wiltrout went down in a heap on the run and yep. was grabbing at her, at her wrist. wrist. Yeah, well, it looks like she has, has a sleeve on that arm, maybe just for that purpose. Tomboy back out. Washburn's three off the mark. Rebound controlled by Almer. Almer on the run again. Pulls up from the free throw line. This time hard off the back iron. Tomboy with the rebound. Oh. And Almer with the steal. Again, does it on both ends of the court. And it's stolen right back by Camille Washburn on the breakaway. Left hand is good. Oh, I think she hurt herself. Looks like she's from this And with the youth and inexperience on this team, they certainly can't afford to lose anyone. And that might was one of, another one of the things, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it might be a cramp. That was a, another one of the things that Coach Wico talked about is, you know, we want to have fun. We want to keep learning. We have to avoid injuries. Yeah, she's in, she's in a little bit of pain. That's definitely looked to me to be a cramp. Yeah, they're massaging the muscle, yeah. and there's laughs and smiles. So, Well, I'm sure she's not laughing. Well, she's got a smile on her face, though. I don't know. <laughs> she looks like she's in a little discomfort. And both the, both the Washburns were, were very enjoyable to talk to yeah. as well. And uh, you could tell, you know, they, they, they love the game. They love being around the team. And, uh, you know, both kind of said that it, it was interesting. And some of the questions, they, their answers were nearly as identical as <laughs> they are, um, almost word for word. Um, but you could just tell the way they talked about it, you know, and it takes a lot for you to reach your senior season in a program when you have not seen a lot of varsity time and to continue to play uh, says a lot about your right. character. Um, and that's a, that's a big reason why they're both uh, captains for, for this year's squad. Well, and obviously they, they know each other very well. You, you would think so. Obviously, yes. You would think they would. And she's going to get. She's going to get some assistance, but yeah, it did look like with the way they were massaging the muscle that it's. And there you see a, a smile on her face. Yep. So, hopefully, nothing more than a. Than a cramp that will. Uh, be taken care of. Yep. Get a little hydrated. Sooner rather than later. 
Have a banana and some have pickle a banana juice. And pickle juice. Pickle juice, the best. The, the, the Howie best, Shapiro it is remedy. The best remedy. Knight in the corner for Cambridge Isani. Gets it into Mariah Will Trout, and she traveled. Yeah. She doesn't think she did. But it doesn't matter what she thinks, it's what our officials think. Nope. When, they, when the guys in gray and black blow the whistle, they're typically not going to change nope. their minds. Double team coming. Becky able to get it across to Delana Washburn. Delana driving with the left hand, scoops it up and in. Yeah, nice job there, just getting around the defense. Knight for three, won't fall. Tomboy the rebound. Yeah, Jenny strong on the boards. Pulls up from 15 feet, the shot won't fall. The rebound by Evelyn Wiltrout. Armour. Draws a foul, trying to cut between a couple of defenders. Call with that one on Beck, I believe. That'd be her second. Second team foul of the half for the Cardinals. Only one for the Blue Jackets, and we talked to Coach Lito about that. They had uh, at least 10 fouls in that first half. Just kind of walking that off. To be okay. That's good news. Inbound to Armour. She puts it up and in. Casey back. Hands it off for Chloe Christie. Back thought about the three, instead, put it on the floor, and the defense collapsed. Left side, Delana Washburn for three. That's off the mark. The rebound by Evelyn Wiltrop. Back the other way comes Amr. Amr on the run. And Schmidt got a piece of yeah, that. That was a good defensive play by the Cards. And now Amr going to be called for the foul. Look at look at the cat-like reflexes of Dave Emmy, our, one of our camera ops. He is so quick. You know, at 73, that's pretty good. <laughs> Delano Washburn. Had it blocked by Knight. To let it go out of bounds and take the new possession. 10.46 to go. Good defense. Yep. And a Knight in the hand on the ball. Schmidt up top for Delano. Crossing over, tried to feed that through. Chloe Christie got a piece of it after it was deflected, so it'll be a turnover back to Cambridge Isani. Palmer works ahead, met by Christie, works right side, dishes it to Knight. Up top, Jurdy. Another long three, she Ow. hit nothing but net. They're pretty deadly from uh, beyond the arc. Oh, great defensive play there. It was a good thought from Christie trying to look underneath. Will Trout again, Devlin Will Trout. Nice job getting in the passing lane. Scoreboard operator un unaware that it should now be into running time. 37 point deficit. About at nine minutes. Oh, is it under? Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. You're right. I forgot about the. Treat it like about a the timing yeah. of it. Thank you for directing my notes. You're very welcome. Up, up. 
Evelyn will trout for three. It's oh. good. Again, just so deadly beyond the arc tonight. Tom Boy. And now he's going to be called with the offensive foul as Mariah Wiltrout stepped up and took the charge. There was a little bit of a little bit of groans from the Blue Jacket crowd when, when you saw Journey go flying, and maybe there was a little bit of a forearm shiver there from, yeah. from Jenny, but then able to draw the charge was Will Trout, and that's number four on Tomboy, so she'll have to take a seat. Yeah, and she's been quiet offensively here in the second half. I don't believe she has a point. No, she does not. Well, only six points for the Cardinals here in the second half. Will Trout turns. That one's off the mark. The rebound by Schmidt. Uh, by Schmidt. Delana Washburn. Cross midcourt. She'll pull up for three. That's off the mark, out of bounds. Working against Christie for Jurdy. Wants three more. This one not close. Oh, nice save. save by Knight. And Mariah Wiltrout puts in the deposit. Almost a steal there as well. Christie drives and scores. Nice job by Christie to get gain the lane, gain the outs inside and get the bucket. She has six. Amer for three off the mark. Beck goes to the floor for the rebound. It's tied up. Possession arrow will favor Cambridge Isani. Ellie Davis will check in for the Blue Jackets. Amer. For three, that one won't go. Rebound by Delana Washburn. Smith gets it back to back up top. Nice pick. Shot by Beck is off the mark. Sophia Smith's only played a couple of minutes. I yep. liked what I've seen so far. She's aggressive. I like the pick. Yep. I like the fact that she's, you know, five foot four. <laughs> Listed five six. But yeah, she's uh, a good heady play right there. Camille Washburn will check back in. Good to see her back in. Three-pointer off the mark for Madison Lawrence. Good job, Dave Vimy. He's just, he does it all. I mean, the camera doesn't move. He's it's like a backstop he's like right a, He's like a thief in the night. Good feed from Beck and Schmidt finishes underneath. Mariah Wiltrout spins to her left and scores off the glass. Yeah, what a nice move. Travel called against Camille Washburn. Bluebirds lead 2-1 uh, after two. Crawley and Tara Beza with goals for CPCR. He's just going to say that. Number 10, Reese 
I believe we, uh, I'm, I'm assuming since we're getting the, the info from Highlight 10 and yep. that we will have highlights on the show yes. next week. Obviously, highlights of this, highlights of boys hockey against Blaine on Thursday. Wrestling. Wrestling on Friday. Good tie up in there. Again, is Smith yep. getting her hands in, keeping it clean, forcing the turnover. But uh, yeah, we'll have a preview of uh, boys swimming and diving. I don't believe we're going to have highlights of boys basketball, but. Persia Glenn in for the first time for uh, for the Cards. Delano, that's Camille Washburn down the middle. According to my according to my roster, got a nice nice crowd here for the opener. That's Alex Beck. That's yeah, the lizard. That's the lizard. Elijah Smith there with him. Boys basketball team well represented. Yes, I see MJ like to see that. over yep. there as well. Love to see that. Camille trying to dish. It's out off of Cambridge Isani. Back in the game, the crowd is number four, Chloe Christie. Down to the final four minutes. Smith underneath. Glenn working for it, can't get it to go. And back the other way come the Blue Jackets. Pull up for Jerdy, wouldn't happen. Jump shot is good for Reese Wilking. Getting some players off the bench, get some extra time for the Blue Jackets. You saw their JV squad disposed of the Cardinals fairly handily in that uh, opening game before the varsity tipped it off. Another good read. Good hand in the passing lane. Mavra down low, scores against Glenn. Three minutes, a little under three minutes remaining in the contest. Beck pulls up, shot won't fall. The rebound by Wilking. Jerdy will get it to the other end. Wilking back to Jerdy, a 15 footer that won't fall. The rebound, Glenn is fouled. Goes hard to the floor, but she's okay. Glenn, another sophomore, and more size in the lineup for yep. Coon Rapids. We'll see how quickly they bring her along and get her up to varsity speed. But you know, that, she can definitely be a presence. Brownell. Trying to find room, gets through, shot won't go. Rebound tipped to Smith, puts it back up. That won't fall. Rebound controlled by Ellie Davis. And a travel as Bree Knight tried to fire that one up court. Bree Knight, just a freshman. I'm assuming the younger sister of Ayanna Knight. Just a guess. Yep, probably. It's a good guess. I mean, it's a not totally uncommon name, but Cambridge Isani, not exactly a huge school. Nope. To have two girls on the basketball team with the same last name, other than Unless they're Smith. twins. Or if they're twins. Well, but then they're definitely, <laughs> then they're definitely <laughs> related. Uh, it was pretty easy to, cons to figure out that the Will Trouts are sisters. Yeah. Long two-pointer off the mark for Christie. We're under a minute to play. Christie got a hand in on that pass. And 
forces it out of bounds. Knight working against Christie, right side for Emily Cox. Delano Washburn nearly had the steal. Back to Bree Knight. Down to the final two seconds, and Knight will just let the buzzer sound, and the Blue Jackets will walk away with a very impressive 81-39 victory. Yeah, they, they, they're an impressive squad, and obviously they... Uh, and they had their opening loss. They were actually, what I failed to mention earlier, is that when they played Spring Lake Park, they were up by double digits in that second half, but uh, the lead got away from them. Didn't get away from them here tonight. They were they were a dominant from start to finish. Yeah, and for Coon Rapids, I think, uh, you know, you have some positives to take away. That Jenny played us very well in, the, in that yep. first half. Um, obviously, you need to, to find more ways to get her involved. Uh, but, you know, seeing some other players doing some scoring, particularly in the second half, is good. Yep. Um, you know, got to clean up a lot, of, a lot of things to clean up, but that's to be expected with a team this young. Yeah, I, I think so, and, and I mean, it's going to be a growing season. It's like we talked about in the opening, this is a very different team than the year ago for the Cardinals, and, and uh, they don't have a lot of size, as we talked about. They have some girls coming off, some younger players with a little bit of size, but, you know, they're going to have to try and be athletic and, and see what they can do about, uh, about scoring that way as the season continues. Well, the season is definitely underway. We get the boys' hockey home opener on Thursday when they host the Blaine Bengals wrestling against Maple Grove. That's live at 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon. And then we will also have their match against Zimmerman at about 8 o'clock in the evening. Boys basketball home opener next Tuesday when they host St. Paul Harding. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, Cambridge I Sandy 81, Coon Rapids 39. Want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.